The greatest television show in history, other than The Apprentice, Liquid Lunch on Newsmax TV. Welcome back. Uh, we're just breezing through hour two here on Liquid Lunch. And I'm John Tobacco. You're watching Liquid Lunch on Newsmax TV, of course. And uh, with all this breaking news every other week now, and it seems like we don't even hear about all of them, but every day practically there is a mass shooting somewhere in this country. Uh, we had uh, Allison Josephs on a little earlier talking about the uh, terrible tragedy yesterday in Jersey City and to bring more light to this growing problem in America of mass shootings, uh, we bring in uh, Indrani Bal Chaudhry. Did I do that one good? Uh, That's right. All right. That's right. And uh, so you are, you are quite the interesting person. Um, you're an artist, you're a director, you, you're a social critic, a social justice advocate. Um, but recently you were discovered by David Bowie and, and, and a video that you made for David Bowie has kind of made, made you on big time. Um, I want to show our audience this, this video that you made and then I want to talk about what you're doing to try to bring awareness to stop the insanity. Um, we're going to take a look at... Uh, Indrani's uh, video that she made for, for David Bowie. Valentine told me who's to go That happens. Okay. Welcome back. So, uh, Welcome back. so uh, we had a little technical issue there, but uh, it goes on to start to think about some things going on in David Bowie's mind, including m mass shootings. Yeah, right? yeah. The whole video is about him going into the mind of a mass shooter. And um, you have chosen to further this and bring awareness to to this growing problem in America. Give for our audience who doesn't really know about all these lesser ones. Give us an idea of how big of a problem this is becoming. Well, there have been 45 mass shootings in the last 46 weeks in the U.S. in schools and institutions. So um, the number of people dying from these shootings is huge. And so what we're doing is bringing a series of talks together um, around issues such as mass shootings and various other social justice issues using art, film, and photography, which is what I do. I'm a photographer and a director. Right. Um, but we're doing a talk on Friday with Samantha Fuentes, who's the survivor and activist from Parkland, um, who's talking with us about the role of the quest for fame in these mass shootings. Right. So, you know, we, we never mention the name on our show here. Um, we never mention the name of a mass shooter or somebody who does some heinous thing against society. Um, but it seems like these people who are depressed, and, and we had you know, we have talks all the time on the show about gun control and thoughtful gun legislation. Um, we have Zen Sam's on weekly, and she's the director of the Protocol, which talks about, you know, mental health problems, which is a major contributor to some of this gun violence. But I think part of the fame that you're talking about is these people, most times they have some mental problem, at least some instability. Well, you know, there's 95% of them don't have a diagnosable mental illness. Right, but there's some depression or something going on, and, and they're sitting there, and they're just more and more depressed with their life, and they feel like they want to end it, but they want to go out with a bang, right? And that, that kind of drives a lot of this stuff, doesn't it? Well, many of them study the previous shooters, the number of bodies... Um, for each of these because they actually want to get fame. They want to be on the, on the TV. They want to have their face in the newspaper. So they actually want to up the ante and kill more people than the previous shooter. Are there any, I know you're going to be at the University of Pennsylvania this That's weekend right. with one of the Parkland survivors and you guys are going to be talking about the correlation between deadly shootings and the quest for fame and God bless you for continuing to try to bring awareness to, to this topic. but. Are there any things, I always try to get our audience to get something out of it, are there any things that you've found through your work um, that are maybe little, little tip-offs that family members or someone else can look for that someone's about to break? Well, I think that the inability to share their experience 
seems to be one of the, the problems that a lot of these kids face, that they, they're very upset, but they aren't able to, to speak express about themselves. it, express about it, and, or get the mental health help that they need. So that's, that's the key, is, is talking about it. So you've taken an angle of art and creativity and photograph and stuff, maybe that's one way people can express themselves, alleviate some of the pain. I want to thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. You're great. Indrani Bal Chaudhry will be at UPenn talking about the connection and correlation between our mass shootings and the quest for fame and many other things. Terrible issue, but we try to bring everything to light here. And, uh, you know, if you think somebody's losing it a little bit, give them a hug and talk to them. Say, can I help you? And it'll probably go a long way. We're going to take a quick break, and the man on the street is going to be with us right after this.